What's going on people? Shoe Army TV here, back with another Match Day Vlog. It's Match Day Vlog 26 and Game Day 40. So, it's near enough coming close to the end of the season. We've only got next month. We've got, we've got last week in March, next week, and then we're in April next month. And then that's it for football. Five games left. Today, Northampton have um, Oxford United at home at six fields, three o'clock kick. Northampton did win their last three uh, against Charlton, Wimbledon and Port Vale. But then last Saturday, we were 1-0 up against Bolton, but we lost 2-1. What do you expect? Bolton are trying to get automatic promotion, if not trying to win the league. And also, Oxford have lost their last three. They lost their last three to Oldham, Scunthorpe and Bolton. At the moment, Oxford, if I did say Oldham, I apologise. Oxford lost to Oldham, Scunthorpe and Bolton. I had to think then. They lost their last three. Oxford are ninth and we are 14th. We're only six points behind them. So I'm hoping today we get a win. So come join me in today's match day vlog at six fields, three o'clock kickoff with me and my dad. So see you there. Enjoy. Interval six was now on St James Road. It's going to be hectic today because the circus is on and Saints have got Leicester in the rugby league, so that's a solo game. And also, like I said, we've got Oxford today at six fields, three o'clock kickoff. So St James and the whole way to six fields is going to be run with traffic. So yeah, today's a nice sunny day. Um, my score predictions today, I'll say because Oxford, like I said, have lost the last three. I'm gonna go for another 2 1. So, yeah, I'm with my dad again. I'll go for 2 0 win. Oh, he's going for 2 0. Possible 2 0. Like, I'm, going for, I'm going for 2 1, like last time when we had uh, Charlton. So, yeah, but no, I said 1 0, didn't I last time? Yeah, that's my dad's score prediction. I said 2 1. So, uh, last time we played Oxford, this is what happened. So you saw the video there, what happened when we had Oxford away. Last season, they were second and they got promoted because uh, Plymouth bowled it. And Bristol Rovers got automatic promotion in third place. So, yeah. I'm hoping today will be a good game. Whether it'll be a sellout, I'm not too sure. Whether Oxford will bring decent fans, I'm not sure about their fan base. There probably will be a lot there, so yeah. See you at six fields and enjoy the vlog, the rest of the vlog.
Cisneros has gone for 4-4-2. Um, Smith's in goal. Right back, you have Phillips. Left back, you have Buchanan. Both centre-backs at Diamond and Nyatanga. On the left mid, you have, on the left wing, you have, I think it's Paul Anderson. On the right wing, the right side is Jack McCourt. And in midfield is Anderson and Taylor. And also up front, two forwards are Richards and Smith. So it's a good formation. I'm hoping they don't let us down today. Like I said, I'm going for a 2-1, and my dad's going for... 2-0. He's going for a 2-0. So Oxford have brought a massive crowd today. It's a sellout at the away end, and they're making a loud, loud noise. Um, the game's about to kick off soon, about 10 more minutes. So yeah, oh, five more minutes. So yeah, come on lads, up the town. Don't let us down, come on. Get another three points. Third minute, Coppers have got a free kick right at the edge of the box. And I think Super Matt, Matt Taylor's taking it. I'm hoping Matt Taylor takes it. Come on, this has got going. Come on. Come on, Taylor. Ah, waste. Hit the wall. 24th minute, still 0 0. I've had two chances now. It's 38th minute. They just had a chance a minute ago and they just went wide, so playing strong, playing strong. But yeah, it's still nil-nil. It's the end of the first half, it's nil-nil. Oxford had a couple of chances to serve Northampton. Richards had a header right near the box and it went over. Could have made it one-nil, but in saying that, Oxford had two chances. They could have easily got a goal. Um, right before the whistle went, they had a chance. It's still nil-nil, that's all I can say really. Oxford are playing a little bit dirty. Um, Diamond 
got fouled um, as he went up in the air for the ball. The, the Oxford player, uh, Lopez, headbutted Diamond, so he got a yellow card for that. But that's about it, really, it's not much that's happened. So, what do you think to the first half of the performance of the team uh, so far? That was right the first 10 minutes. We've got the two goals, and then Oxford tried to uh, play a bit dirty for a little while. Defended. They could have got caught right last minute, but they didn't. Apart from that, they've, they've done alright. Keep it up. That's all I can say. Oh, it's nil-nil at the moment. I'm hoping Cobblers can get a goal back in the second half. But we'll see. Like I said, Oxford are playing strong. They are ninth in the league and we're 14th. So, let's just see what happens in the second half. I think that was Paul Anderson that missed a chance. Oh, covers. I don't know who crossed it. It was like in the box and they did a little chip. I don't know if it's between Paul Anderson or Smith, but we just missed a chance to score. To make it 1 0. Shit. 46 minutes, still 0 0. So close yet so far. Go on! Go on! Penny! Penny! Come on! Yes, get in! Penny to your function! Come on! Richard's out, Richard's out the ball. Made a, like a pass back to Paul Anderson and then Paul Anderson goes down in the box. Mate, I think it might have turned, it's taken a penalty. He's taking it. Who is it? It's Taylor. Taylor's taking a penalty. Get it! Get it! I can't say them, I, I actually I don't know, it could be Richards actually, I don't know, they're just they're discussing who it is. Ah, uh, Richards. I, I don't know, I don't know. Who's taking it? It's Matty, I think. Uh, who's taking it? Yeah, Matt Taylor. What? Come on, make it 1 0. Come on! Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh no, go on, no rebound! So so come on, Tom! Matteo's free kick. Matteo's kind of even safe. You hit the bar. It's still nil nil. <laughs>
finish 0-0. Happy with a point. It's better than a loss. We stay 14th. Oxford go down one place in 10th. In the second half, Smith missed a chance early on in the second half. And the 79th minute, Oxford had a shot. Smith saved it and then it hit the crossbar. But the game finished 0-0. So, yeah. What do you think of the game overall? Average, Mark. Average, yeah. Yeah. Sorry about the penalty, though. Yeah, Matt Taylor's penalty was saved. So, finished 0-0. Points better than a loss. So, yeah. You already know what to do. Leave comments below. Like and subscribe. Be watched out next week. I'll see you in a fortnight's time against Sheffield United at home. Chris Wilder returns back to six years. So see you then. Peace.